All right, today I want to talk about golf grips. Now, we use them. It's a very important part of golf. It's the connection from your hands to the club. Now, warm glove, warm grip, dirty grip all affect how much pressure you use, how you swing the club. So I'm looking at a golf grip, and this one is a little worn, but you see how shiny it is. Now, there's three things you can do with grips. You can clean them, you can refresh them, or you can just all out replace them and I'm gonna go through all three steps okay so first thing we do is this grip right here uh, one it's corded on this end so you've got a little bit of extra grip and durability there but the right side here you can see how shiny it is and if you can see that in the light that means this grip has lost a lot of its ability to kind of stick now if your hand gets a little sweaty, get a little bit of rain outside, that's gonna impact it. So first thing we're gonna do, got a little warm water, a little dish soap, and it's simple rag here. So kind of mix that in there, a little soapy water and wring that out here. So just get a little soapy water and clean those off. And you get oils that build up, you get dirt that comes off. I mean, sunblock on your hands. There's a million things that can get onto a golf grip and make it dirty. And we just want to give it a nice scrub. So um, generally I'll do this around a sink or outside somewhere that's not going to be as much mess, but we're just doing a couple of them right here to give an example. Gonna dry it off here and see how we turned out. Okay, so on this particular grip, it's a little better, but it still has some shine to it. When I feel it, you're looking for that kind of like hard plasticky feel versus a soft rubber. So step number two you can do is pretty simple. All right, for the second step to refresh your grips, simply get some sandpaper. This is just 100 grit. I'd recommend anywhere, I don't know, maybe 200 on average. And so I'm just gonna go over it. Now on the cord section, it does expose a little more cord. So that is gonna help a lot more than normal. And I'm just gonna go over the whole thing real light. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead, take this rag, wipe it off again. Make sure you get all that stuff we shaved off out. Let's clean it off. All right, now let's, let's let that dry for a minute. Okay, so with the grip clean, I don't know if you can see that. It's not that dark, shiny rubber look again. It's kind of a little bit duller. It's a little more rubbery. So it feels less like hard plastic and more like rubber after you kind of go through it. And if I try to grip it, I can't really do much with it. So that's his first step, little dish soap, little warm water, scrub it real good with a rag, and then dry it off. Step number two, if that doesn't work, you can simply come in here and these grips are Still in reasonable shape. I mean, I've got a bit down here, so I can still play these a little longer, but I do have a grip I'm gonna just go ahead and replace, and I'll show you how we go about that. So the ideal way to do this is to clamp a club, and if you have any kind of visor, anything you can kind of secure a club, this is a very valuable piece. I'll put a link down in the description, um, but it's a few dollar rubber, just kind of grip that holds a golf club in a clamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. Okay, so here's how my club secured. I secured it with the face up so I can kind of line it up. Uh, don't mind the dirty face, I gotta clean that. But this is set up so I can then install the grip down at the end and line it up so it's properly lined. 
Okay, so first of all, you need some kind of blade. Um, the ideal blade you can actually buy from Golf Supply, it's a hook blade, so you can hook it under and it's not sharp on the bottom and pull the grip off. Now, I just have a regular blade here, and what I'm gonna do, I don't wanna come, well, it's a steel shaft, so if I come in like this, it's not too bad, but what I wanna do is kinda come in 45 degrees, I'm gonna get it started. And then once I'm like that, I can just cut through it. The goal is to not put a cut, especially in a graphite shaft. So I'm just going to cross it angled. This blade's a little dull, so don't mind that. And I'm just lifting the tip off as I go. That is how I'm gonna pull it off. Now, as far as the tape, the trick with the tape is anything you actually have in the tape, any wrinkles or anything as you put it on, you're gonna feel through the grip. So you wanna make sure that's pretty secure. I know this tape's not very old. Um, I, it's still got some stick to it, so uh, I can reuse it, but one trick you can do is simply heating it up. Uh, let's do that real quick. So this tape actually has more layers through the right hand. If you can see, there's it's layered up. But if you wanna get tape off quick and easy, I'm gonna simply use a torch. You can use a blow dryer, heat gun, whatever. And I'm just gonna warm it up so I can peel it off. hot but to get started it should come off a lot easier Now, you can just scrape at it with a blade, but this I find is easy, so I can simply scrape it off like that, but the method I'm using right now is gonna be the easiest. So I generally take something that's like a harder surface, a screwdriver or whatnot, and work it down. And I haven't taken the outer layer of the tape off, as you can see here, so just wanna get it nice and flat work around and then peel it off and I've got the grip tape on there. Now I'm going to do one extra right hand build up because there's four built into the grip. I'm going to go about right here. I like less say movement in the right hand and go around here and wrap it. And what I tried to do is the seam on the previous one was directly on the bottom. The seam on this one's on the side. So I don't have an overlapping of seams and kind of get a feel for that. Okay, now one thing about grips is if you do this in a really cold climate and the grips are cold, they're very hard to get on. So I used to do this in the Northwest in the winter and I'd warm the grips up. So you can do a blow dryer. I've even microwaved them. Um, don't highly recommend that. I don't know how microwave safe they are, but you know, you do it for 30 seconds show to get them warm. And so they're a little more pliable and they go on better. Now with this one, you have, with every grip, you have to block the bottom up. You get a little lighter fluid. Just get it in there. So just put a decent amount and the trick is to coat the inside very well, and then you're just gonna throw it on here, okay? And now you just slip it over the edge. So I've got it started. This will create air pressure and make it so it's not there. And 
with the grip wet and everything, you just slide her right on. That's why you want the golf club station in there. Now, one thing I'm gonna show you as I do this, method number two. Okay, so for those of you that don't have an air compressor, I do recommend going really heavy with the lighter fluid or whatever mineral spirits or whatever you use. For me, I can actually grip without the tape just by using the air compressor. So I have the T out of the back and I simply stick this in the back end. I've got it at maybe 25 PSI or so and you just blow a little, you can hear it break there and you just slide it right up and I can adjust it and adjust it. Now you can actually grip without the tape if you use an air compressor. Um, it's just preference. I personally, have my air compressor out and about in case I get a grip that doesn't go on all the way. It's a way to save it and redo it, or I can reseat them with this. Okay, so to recap, stick it in the end. So just, I'm popping it in the hole in the end, but this, you know, through the first notch, so I have a good seal. And I just give it a little air. I've got, oh, not even 40 PSI in it right now. And the little air and work it up at the same time. You gotta be careful, you can't explode grips. And they do sell a tool that I have somewhere that is specifically for this, but this is as simple as anything. Just any little nozzle tip on an air compressor gets it right in there. So slide it up and I've got it clamped in here nicely. So I have the club facing up and I can look down and make sure it's aligned perfectly. And it is. So that's how you regrip a club with or without an air compressor. Uh, one extra buildup and tape in there. All right, here it is. We've got it nice and lined up. We've got the grip installed. Um, black shaft, you can see my black shaft video on this one. And we're good to go. Now, if anyone has any questions about th this, will be in the link below in the comments. So I'll put this in the comments below, a link to one of these. And then simple household items like uh, Dawn dish soap, lighter fluid. You have to basically buy grip tape to regrip unless you have an air compressor and want to go without tape at all. The grip should hold very well that way.